Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the fair use, fair dealings guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. Yes, I'm still fighting a cold, but hopefully it'll be over soon. Today's video is gonna cover two topics. The first one being the Diana statue unveiling and the second one being, again, Spotify. Let's go. So first the story came out that Megan was gonna come back with Harry for the Diana statue. And there was a massive outcry about that. People did not want her there. People don't even want her stepping foot in the UK. And there was some talk on Twitter that this might've been like what they call a balloon thing. You know, they, they set it off like a balloon to test the reaction of people and people did not react well. So therefore the balloon was shot down, so to speak. Express News actually ran a poll and it found out of 12,005 people, 94.6% said they didn't want her there. The report also said that she, Megan, was hoping that Archie would go over, but of course that's never going to happen. And it wasn't long after that that the stories came out that she would not fly to London and they named, you know, she just had the baby and they just started giving all these reasons why she would not attend the statue unveiling. Now, it wasn't long after that that Harry then came out with his stories that he may not attend the Diana statue because London is one of his triggers for his anxiety and some of his mental problems. So I posted this on my Twitter account, as you can see above, and these are some of the responses that I got. Elena Ramos pointed out that if London triggers him, shouldn't he remove himself from the line of succession since the throne is not in Montecito? LLA pointed out that those UK-based titles don't trigger him every time he uses them. And Lori G pointed out that this gives him the excuse to sit in bed smoking weed while tapping himself. Gee, what adult. Let's not forget that Harry demanded that Meghan be allowed to be a part of the tribute, which included her giving a speech from their home in Montecito. Here's what I think is going to happen. I think that Harry is going to fly over, but he will not bring Archie, which he could do and let the, the queen see him, but he won't do it. They're using those kids as bargaining chips. He needs to fly back and make himself a part of this in order to continue to try to milk money off of Diana's memory and him as a victim. It just falls into his victim narrative. So let's move on to our next topic. You guys are aware that I've done multiple episodes on Spotify and, and the fact that they only dropped one podcast and it bombed massively. The show was a bunch of their uber wealthy multimillionaire friends all talking about how hard things had been for them during the pandemic. And they tried to reel people in with having their son supposedly say Merry Christmas or something like that. They put out an ad that was put in with the Obamas and some other high profile people in an attempt to pull people in. Here's a small smidge of it in case you forgot. We're using podcasting to drive powerful conversations that inspire, challenge, and educate. We created our tool audio to make sure that we can elevate voices that maybe aren't being heard and hear people's stories. And the biggest part of this is trying to create this community mm -hmm. of where you can share. We'll encourage everybody else to then share their own vulnerabilities within that safe. So Angela Levin posted this screenshot, which was then deleted, that they're in trouble for not coming up with the goods for Spotify, which falls into line with this that I found on Twitter not too long ago. It's very long, so let me paraphrase it for you. This was written by somebody who says her mom works high up in a company connected to Meghan and Harry, and they're about to be dropped by the company for lack of content, working with the enemy, lack of professionalism, and their recent actions. It says they were never paid the mega bucks they had to produce, you know, to make the money. I told you that, guys, before. But that the money that was given to them ahead of time, they're now being asked to give back because they didn't fulfill their contract. It was reported in this that Megan showed up and was screaming at staff and that they're desperate to stay on, but really nobody wants to work with them anymore. This person also wrote that they saw Megan visiting and she wasn't pregnant. And they said in the next few months, you're going to hear about money issues, abuse of staff, and complete lack of professionalism. We shall see. All right, guys, fin update time. Now, the video that I posted that showed him coughing and was so sick was taken about three days before I posted it. 
He's on antibiotics, he's on cough medicine, and so here's a video of him this morning. And he's had his antibiotics, and his cough medicine, and he is better. Go get it. Go get it. He's much better. Still coughing a little, as you can hear. But he's better, isn't you, baby? So, what do you guys think about the fact that Harry is now basically saying he's not going to go to the statue unveiling? Do you guys think he should go, or do you think he should just stay home? And if he does stay home, do you think that the UK should air his and Megan's statements about the statue? And what do you guys think about Spotify basically asking for their advance money back? I mean, for me, other people have said they think it's Netflix. I, I truly believe it's Spotify. Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to email me. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter. And don't forget about that coffee fund. Right now that money's going for cough syrup. I hope you guys have a fabulous day.